Hey busy professional, welcome back to another session. Today we will talk about Notion and the integration with the all new Notion calendar and how actually you can do this with ClickUp and the normal Google calendar as well. Let's dive in. So what you can actually do with the Notion calendar, you can create an event and attach directly a page that is in Notion. This for on its own is nothing special as you were able to do this already with Google calendar and just attaching a G-Doc there. However, what I think is even more funny is that with the Google Calendar, you can do this with ClickUp as well. I was expecting that this integration would work much more efficient due to all the hype than this does, because here we have an add-on from ClickUp that we can use and therefore create tasks and ClickUp docs. The downside here is once you create them on the doc and on the task, there's no backlink to this Google event. So I was expecting that when I do this in Notion calendar and create a page on Notion that I would see a backlink there, it's neither the case. So what's the point of creating knowledge from within your calendar if you then cannot get back the context from within this piece of knowledge? Let me show what this looks like. So here we are in the all new Notion calendar, which is actually based on the Cron calendar. And well, it looks beautiful. It is a nice UI UX and you have the command K to navigate the calendar and so on. I love it. That's one of the reasons why we are using actually Vimcal that integrates with the Google calendar as well due to the keyboard shortcuts and all this. So that's already a nice thing. But now when I create an event here, let's do it here and say test event. Now I have the option to say docs and links and here I can use the test doc that I just created and now it linked the doc, okay? So whenever this event happens, perfect. I have context here and I have already the document. I click, it will open up the document and I can start writing my meeting notes. But the thing is, there's nothing else. There is no backlinks, no nothing. What I mean, let's go here and I just will open my random other place and I will mention this doc. And if I now go to the doc, which was this one, now you see this backlink appears and it links me back to where this doc was mentioned. When I click there, I go here and here I have to mention doc so I can go back and forth. So I was expecting to see something like this as well. Also, I would expect it would pull in more information about what this event was all about. Because if you go now to the Google calendar, the native one and go in here, and we open up this test event. And now we add here, create meeting notes. I click there, it will create automatically a G-Doc once I save the event. And now when I click there, I have the notes, I click there, it will open up a note. And now you see it already references to the date. It links back to the test event. It shows me the notes and the attendees. So if anybody would have been attending, they would show up here as well, as I actually can mention Paco in here would look like this. So now I could share it with him so he can access this as well. I can send these email, these meeting notes immediately via Gmail once the meeting is finished. So you see, there's a lot more sense behind when I create these notes from within Google and stay in the Google ecosystem. But what Notion offers, if you're working on ClickUp, you can actually go here and if you have the Chrome extension installed from ClickUp, you can simply click ClickUp here. And then you can even decide if you want to create a doc or a task. I can create a new doc. I can say action items from meeting. I can decide who will have access to this. So I could have anyone with the, with the link. If they're external people, they would be able to access the doc as well. Could be also just for me. I create a doc and now you see it appears here as well. Well, one of the advantages to have the Notion thing here, I can actually search for the content. That's a big thing. I can search for any doc or any, any other item inside Notion and attach it here. In ClickUp, it will just create a new item, but it's not searchable. And another interesting thing that I figured out is when you attached these two, for example, and I go back to my Google Calendar, and I decide that I want to take meeting notes. So you see here, both are appearing now, the, the Notion doc and the ClickUp doc as attachments. So when I click here now on need meeting notes, let's just edit this and click on create meeting notes. You will see when I save this and I open this again, you see now meeting notes, but the other two are gone. Let's go in there, they are gone. So what happened? Well, what Google actually does, it takes everything that is already in the description field and it will add it to the Google doc 
So you see here attached files and now I have these two things in here and there. So they are now in the Google Doc. Just keep this in mind whenever you click on meeting notes and you already have something in there. Now I can go here and create a new one. And now you see this exists next to it. So there was just the action button when I create new meeting notes that it will delete the others. So what about you? How do you will leverage the new Notion calendar? Will you actually use it? Do you use something else? Do you use the native Google application or maybe even Outlook or something else? Let us know in the comments below. I'm curious about how this will evolve. Obviously we will keep following the things right now. We will stay with Vimcal as a satellite app on top of our Google Calendar and ClickUp. Also, we are not using the attachments thing there at all. As I already mentioned, this backlinking that is missing and therefore it's out of context. I will always have a list of different docs that I don't have context to. So if you want to learn how we actually manage our agenda meetings and how we manage to have only one meeting per week, then next watch the video about our agenda meeting and click up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel so I can catch you up next time.